Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. June 16th, Friday, Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 through chapter 10, verse 15. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First, Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions, Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news, the kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for your journey or two tunics, or sandals, or a staff, for laborers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy, and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it, but if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, Shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Amen. Once we experience God's grace, we want others to experience it as well. We see the whole world in needs of God's grace like fields ready to be harvested. So Jesus tells us to pray that God will send workers into the fields. This call to prayer is followed by the commissioning of the twelve. They are sent out to extend the ministry they have witnessed Jesus performing, healing and casting out demons. This ministry is what the world is ready to receive. They are being sent to help supply God's answer to the prayer Jesus told them to pray. Is our commitment to God's grace so strong that we are willing to be used by God to invite others into this experience? Are we content simply to receive from God, perhaps going so far as to stop and give thanks to God for God's gifts at work in our lives? We might even go a step further and say that we want others to have this experience, but are we willing to be a part of God's mission to extend this grace to others? Or do we think this is someone else's responsibility? Jesus encourages us in joining this mission through his instructions to the disciples. Jesus sets an urgent tone instructing the disciples to travel lightly, not waiting until they feel like they have enough money or an extra set of clothes. I think Jesus is saying more than, let the mission drive your activity. I believe Jesus is teaching us to go forward trusting in grace. Trust 
that the same grace that first brought you to Jesus will be with you as you join God's mission. God's grace is not a one-time experience, but a lifelong journey. Jesus asks us to make that journey in service to others, so they too may know the joy of God's gifts in their lives. Let's pray. God, use us for your work today. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.